Greetings wonderful people, my name is Yvonne, and this week was surprisingly productive for Plasters and it was full of decisions I'm truly proud of. It started with the best bug I've ever encountered in my life. I was refactoring the code and I accidentally put some script in the wrong place. As a result, the selection UI, all those pluses and minuses, were no longer snapped to the grid. The game became extremely pleasant to control and at that moment I knew for sure that going back to the old system was no longer an option. After that I finished the block variations I mentioned in the last video and implemented them. Well, this part didn't go so well at first. Some further testing reminded me that I should probably remove previous particle systems before instantiating new ones. The next step was adding a little bit of screen shake to the game. Just kidding, not that much. Short break for a random, hmm, unity fact for you. Looping through each transform in a parent somehow affects only every second object, which has unexpected and weird results. Surprisingly, by far the easiest and the most impactful change of the week was the addition of history. It somehow worked out with no bugs on the very first try, and I'm proud of that little feature. Another break is dedicated to a game tester in his natural habitat. What a brainless activity! Of course, not everything was a worthwhile time investment. For example, here's an experiment which allowed the player to hold any mouse button down instead of pressing it repeatedly. The game checks if you can fill in the blocks or remove anything and you, in turn, just hold down the button and slide the cursor across the blocks. It wasn't the best idea, though there's something fun in watching the game work like that. Last but not least, I finished a new block skin which doesn't change the game but instead just spices it up a bit. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting me by smashing that wishlist button on Steam. It's absolutely free, takes just a few seconds, but it's 100% capable of increasing my eagerness to keep working on games. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.